Hello, my name is Callie Dompierre. I am here to welcome you to Online College Algebra. Welcome. I wanted to go over our syllabus as succinctly as possible. I want to go over just how our schedule works, the color coding for our schedule. And if you have more questions after this video, feel free to email me. If any questions come up during this video, feel free to email me. I don't want to exhaust you. I don't want to overwhelm you. I know you probably have more than one class and you're getting all of this information in one day that's probably not going to be relevant for two weeks or so. Um, let's get started. All right, that's our schedule. I'm going to start, however, with our syllabus. Hmm, full screen. Okay, so this is online. You work at your own pace. I'm going to suggest a schedule. It's not at the bottom of the syllabus at the moment. It's right here. So I guess we might as well start here. Today, you're watching it Wednesday. So today there's nothing. There's just this video that you found in Blackboard. Thank you for watching it. By Sunday, please watch R2 because R2 homework in my math lab is going to be due on January 23rd. So the gray boxes are suggestions. The purple boxes are due dates. Okay, so those are important. Everything is due at midnight on the date listed on this PDF. This is under um, course schedule, I hope, in Blackboard. I'm having trouble remembering my terminology. I will make updates to it as things change, if anything does change. If you see something that you know is a conflict, um, my sister's getting married March 3rd, for example. Let me know as soon as you recognize that excuse me, sorry, so that we can make a plan about it. Um, you are welcome to work ahead. So if you know that you do have plans on February 1st, you can do all of that work. You can do all those quizzes the week before if you want, as early as you would like. The only hard dates for beginning and ending of an assignment are the exams, okay? So purple is required, gray is suggested. Uh, here's my email. You can also reach me via Zoom. I will add my Zoom number. I apologize for not having it on there. There should be an Ask My Instructor button on some of the My Math Lab assignments. You're willing to, you're more than welcome to press that so that you, it will automatically reach out to me, send whatever message you want with it, and then I will be able to see exactly the problem you're working on. If there, if that option is not <clears throat> there for the question that you have, just send me an email. I'm on My Math Lab R2 problem number four. Okay. Anything you want to discuss with me, shoot me an email. I, it's hard to get to know professors and students, right? It's hard to get to know each other over online interface because I'm just recording the videos. You're just watching a recording. If you have any doubt about whether or not you should email me, you should email me just so that we can get to know each other, build a rapport. We can feel more comfortable. Um, you can feel more comfortable reaching out to me in the future. Anything I should know, okay? Random facts about your life that would be relevant to our time together between now and May, okay? We can also make a Zoom appointment and we can meet over Zoom if you'd like. I'm not going to read the description of the outcomes. You know that this is a math class. <laughs> you need an 18-week access card. If you do it, if you act, if you purchase that through Pearson, it will cost you $75. It's the same one the bookstore is selling. So either one will do. It comes with an online textbook. You can buy a hardcover book. The hardcover book is available for Amazon rental via this link. You can also check eBay, whatever you would like to do if you prefer hardcover textbooks, as I do. The course does not, it follows the textbook, but I don't reference the textbook. So I'm not going to be flipping through the textbook during the class, but it will give you far more uh, a lot of help with explanations and a lot more examples if you do have it. And I just find the online textbook to be um, not as easy to use. Because as a reference, you kind of want to flip around more easily than on the computer, but you guys are younger, so you probably understand it and are used to it more deep on a deeper level than I. All right. So if you don't have a calculator and you have $18, I would encourage you, and you want a calculator, I would encourage you to get the TI-30XS multi-view. I'm currently using the TI-84, but the TI-30 
30 XS is less expensive, has a bigger screen. It's easier to use fractions with it. And we don't need a graphing calculator for this class. We're going to be using desmos.com for the exams and for examples for all graphing is a lot easier online than on a small screen of a graphing calculator. So I would stick with this guy and do all my graphing through Desmos. All right, what are we doing? You are doing homework. Please spend, expect to spend at least three hours a week on the homework, not counting watching the lectures, okay? Use notes, use textbooks, use Google, use whatever you want in order to further your comprehension, not just to find the answer, right? You don't turn in the homework assignments, they just become avail unavailable after the date they are due in my math lab. The quiz, that was an unfortunate page break. The quiz is um, an, a way to prepare yourself for the exam. So there will be a quiz, a couple of questions per homework, on the quiz, the quiz is meant to get you ready for the exam. You have three chances to do the quiz, so you can take the quiz three times. And the highest grade of the three will be put into the grade book. But try to make at least one of the attempts without any outside resources so that you're ready for the exam, OK? The exams. This is going to be a lot of what I talk about because they're so complicated uh, in an online classroom. There are going to be five exams one exam for each unit. That's kind of explained here, right? So we are going to do R2, R4, R5, R6, R7, R8, 1, 1, 2, 1, and then you're going to have an exam over all of that. Good. Five units. In order for exam grades to count, the exam must be proctored, meaning honor lock, the application, or if you have an alternative to honor lock, um, it has to be a math teacher or a librarian or someone who has experience proctoring math tests. That person needs to email me. You can email me to like confirm that this is okay. That person needs to email me through their professional email, and then I will give them the proctoring expectations. But it must be proctored. Proctoring for honor lock. I don't know if you know, if you're familiar with honor lock. Um, but what honor lock does is it, it records your screen. It records your screen and it records your webcam. So make sure your computer has a webcam and then um, that you can set up your computer in such a way that, very annoying, I know. People have trouble with this. Um, that I can see your hands for the most part. I can see that what you're using is a calculator. I can see that you are writing notes and that you're not using another computer. You're not using a phone. You're not just looking at somebody else, right? <laughs> Um, like I said, it's hard to tell that people are doing their own work on an online class. So this is one of the ways that I ensure that you are doing your own work is that I can see your work area as you take the exam. It is recorded. It's saved to honor lock, but the only person who can see it is me, which I know some people hate. And if that's the case, I encourage you to go to your local library. They can help you. Um, they can proctor you. Maybe they can point you to a high school or a college campus that can also proctor you. Let me go back to our syllabus, okay? So you need to be proctored for the exam. If you do plan on using Honor Lock, there's an Honor Lock tab in Blackboard that will explain to you how to download Honor Lock, how to use Honor Lock. There's gonna be a practice Honor Lock exam that you can access before the day of our first exam so that you feel ready to use Honor Lock, okay? After the exam, this is very important, very important. This is very important. <laughs> Another way to assure that I know that you grasped the concepts and did your own work is that you are going to send me your shown work. So you have a paper that you were writing on during that exam, you're gonna email it to me and it's going to look something like this. Here's number two, here's what I did to find that answer, okay? Here's number three, here's what I did to find that answer. I know that that's a lot of work and only, serves to increase math anxiety, but I need this class to be um, a, I didn't think about this before I said it. <laughs> I need this class to be robust, right? And as an online teacher, I'm not watching you take the test. I'm not watching you do the homework. I'm just providing you the opportunity to do all of that. So to ensure that each grade is well earned, I'm going to need, insist upon your shown work, legible and organized, emailed to me after the exam, okay? 
if I do not get your shown work, I will not give you credit for that exam. The exam will be a zero, okay? The final exam is not comprehensive. It covers the final unit of the course. One of your exam grades from the first four exams will be dropped from the final grade in the course, but the final exam has to be included in your final grade, okay? Uh, a little bit more on the showing of the work. I'm not gonna be going over it if you have, if you have shown me in other ways that you know the math, okay? I'm not gonna be going over it with a fine tooth comb unless you ask me, will you go over my shown work? See if I'm making mistakes. I'm gonna look at your shown work if you're doing exams extremely quickly, if you're doing homework super, super fast, if um, you've answered a question and they marked it wrong, but it was only a formatting issue and I can see that you knew the math, okay? So I'm only doing it to ensure that you understand the concepts, but if you've not given me any reason to suspect that you don't understand the concepts, I'm not gonna be looking at that shown work, okay? I'm gonna be looking at that shown work. If you're going very fast, I'm gonna be looking at that shown work. If you got a question wrong and uh, I can give you partial credit because it was only wrong because you forgot X, right? By X, I meant something, not the letter X. All right, if you have between an 89.5 and 100, you have an A, 79 and a half, and 89 and a half, you have a B, normal grading scale. Your exams are worth 70%, your homework is worth 20%, and your quizzes are worth 10%. This says we have five exams, but we have four exams because one of your exams is going to be erased, good? My math lab grades all of the assignments, but I will use your work shown to give you more credit on the exams. If you don't give me any work shown, I'm going to um, put a zero in for that exam, okay? Reach out if you have questions about this policy. So please watch all class lectures. Please take notes on class lectures. Do the work, watch the lecture, do the work before moving on to the next lecture and work, okay? Make sure you have the supplies you need to do the work. Um, take as long as you need on the work. Don't feel bad if you're taking too long, okay? Ask me questions if you're stuck. Reach out to tutoring help. There is tutoring help through Carl Albert that is explained in Blackboard. Uh, you don't need to submit your homework in my math lab. Completing it is sufficient. If you have any scheduling conflicts, just email me before the conflict. <laughs> not after. Um, okay, so your exam you'll be able to see in my math lab, but honor lock won't open until the day of the exam, and then the exam will be due at midnight that night, okay? The exams are password protected. What honor lock does is it inputs the password for you. Sorry, I'm my voice. Sorry, I lost my voice. Okay. <laughs> So Honor Lock puts in the password for you, but in exchange, it records you. Um, you have to use Chrome to access Honor Lock. All of this is explained in the Honor Lock tab of Blackboard. If you would like me to make a video tutorial of our Blackboard classroom and each tab, I would be happy to do so. I just don't want to overwhelm you or make this useless um, by adding too much information to this video in particular, but just email me. I will then put that video up for all students. So if you have even the slightest desire for that, somebody else needs it too, okay? For all reasonable problems, show or explain how you found your answer. I'm not, if, if there are 25 questions and you have your work shown clearly for 20 of those questions, perfect, okay? I'm gonna give you full credit. Um, you don't need to write me paragraphs about, I put in the number 78 into my calculator and then I hit the square button, you know? Um, but if you send me nothing, I am going to assume that that was not your work, okay? You can use a calculator, you can use blank paper, you can use desmos.com slash calculator during the exam, okay? Any other outside website that you visit will cause the exam to be marked as zero. If something happens during the exam, go ahead and finish the exam, email me, I'm so sorry. You know, my dog ran in and disconnected my power cord. Just say, email me what happened. And if it was a genuine, you know, unintentional event, um, it won't matter. Cause they're not going to 
stop your exam and they're not going to fail you. They're going to send the video to me and I'm going to review it. So uh, I'm sorry. My, you know, my cousin came in and started talking to me. I told him to leave. I don't know if you'll hear that. Something like that. I had to leave because my dog needed something. That's why I was out of the frame for five seconds. Right. Cause you can't leave, but if like it's an emergency and it's for a second, you can explain it to me. All right. Uh, yeah. So make sure you follow all the honor lock expectations. So I'm not just giving you a zero. Don't miss any exams. Those will also be zeros. And then make sure you're comfortable with honor lock and with my math lab before the date of the first exam. You can use honor lock. Just Google honor lock student support. They can help you through it, but I would not do that on the date of the exam. That would be a lot or that would be a lot of added stress, right? And then here's just everything else that is added to everybody's syllabus. All right, so we went through this. This is the schedule. It is available on Blackboard. This is what I would like your work shown to be, just as far as numbering it clearly, okay? Here is what I see when I go into the grade book, okay? I can see your assignment, your score, and how long you spent on it, okay? This is why I'm encouraging you, and you're in college algebra now, you probably don't need it, but I'm encouraging you to take your time. If I see, for example, that you got a 97% on our final exam in eight minutes, let's be frank, we all know that apps exist, right? There are apps that can do math. Um, this is not going to count. And you're gonna find out on the day of the final exam that you didn't pass the class, okay? So make sure you're taking the amount of time that would add up to a college level course load. Don't delay if you truly did the math by yourself, but make sure you're doing the math yourself um, and spending an adequate amount of time on it. Do not cheat. Any suspicion of cheating will be treated as cheating. And if necessary, you know, taken to the academic affairs office not only will you lose credit for this course, um, you'll lose, like it will be on your record. Call it, cheating is taken very seriously in college. I know I don't need to say this for 99% of you, but I do want to make it clear that there is a difference, right? There's a difference between this student who throughout the entire semester has consistently done work, right? And this student who started out ready, right? And like life happens, I understand. It's a lot to spend an hour on each assignment and then get a D on the first exam. That's discouraging, right? But with all of the, uh, with, with dropping one of the exams and with just like through practice, you're going to get stronger and you will pass the class, right? And if instead we start turning to apps that will give us 37 answers in 20 minutes, all you're going to do is um, create problems for yourself that are pretty serious. So I hate to end on that note. Let me stop sharing my depressing screen. But I do want to discourage people from getting into a situation that is just um, much worse than the, the trouble of learning the math because Carl Albert has decided that this is part of how to graduate with a degree from Carl Albert. So it does need to be done. There are resources to help you. I'm here to help you. There's tutoring to help you. This, you can pass this class. And I'm very excited to go on that journey with you. I'm very serious. Please email me with anything you have. Um, and I will hopefully exchange a few emails with you this semester at minimum. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful first week of school.